uh, welcome back let's solve the problem 2 from the weekly contest 395 here you can see that acceptance rate is around 24.5 percent which is very much low for the medium problem so you can consider this as toughest problems in the medium category so if you are not able to solve this problem please don't get demotivated because these are like critical critical solutions so these type of problems you may not expect in an interview but yeah in worst case scenario interviewer may ask so these are the problems are related to cp in code forces code chef you can you can find this type of problem so for now let's understand the question clearly so this will be our flow first we'll understand the question then we will see the thought process then logic code and complexities and we will see the different solutions in the in the lead code forum in the solutions tab we have different solutions so we'll pick few of the good solutions and we will discuss that so please watch the video till the end for better understanding now let's understand the question so before going into the question i want to say that go and try this problem find the integer added to array 1 before coming into this for better understanding so i will give that in the description check it out now here you are given two integers array nums1 and nums2 from nums1 two elements have to be removed from nums1 you have to remove two elements and all other elements have been increased by an integer increased or decreased if it is negative you should decrease if it is positive you should increase represented by the value x variable x as a result num1 becomes equals to nums2 two arrays are considered equal when they contain the same integers with the same frequencies now we both v1 consider this as v1 and this is my v2 array in this v1 and v2 all elements should be equal so frequencies and all elements it's same right we need to return the minimum possible integer x that achieve this equivalence so we need to return the minimum one now we should remove only two elements now let's consider one example consider one example consider this 246975 think this as my v1 and this is my v2 and we have removed two elements from v1 consider for for thinking how we should think about this problem consider we have removed two elements we have this and this first thing we will sort it whenever you uh, talk about frequencies and there is no order you should sort it and then you should think that is that is the first thing you should do while solving the problems now after sorting this will be my updated v1 and v2 now if you see to convert 6 to 9 i need to do plus 3 i need to do plus 3 but to convert 4 to 9 i need to do plus 5 now if you do plus 5 my 4 will be converted to 9 but my 6 if you do plus 5 all elements towards left are smaller all elements towards left are smaller and my 6 if i am incrementing with plus 5 it will go towards the right side only right it will go towards the right side same applies for 2 if you are if you are 2 here and if you want to convert it to 9 or 7 you should do plus 7 and all my right elements will definitely increase to towards right right because if i am making 4 to 9 4 is equivalent to 9 then 6 will obviously cross 9 because this is my sorted sorted array and 4 is coming to 9 and 6 will cross so you can't make 2 and 4 you you can't make you can make at least 6 to 9 right 6 to 9 so only operations you can perform is 6 to 9 after performing 6 to 9 it will be plus 3 so 2 4 6 will be converted into 5 7 9 5 7 9 if you add plus 3 for each element so this will be my answer so i think you have got it what exactly we are doing now he is saying that you should remove two elements and you and then you should see the constraints so what are the constraints so it's 200 200 so n into n into <coughs> n will get accepted first thing you need to understand that so if it is 1000 you, sh you should go with n square or n square log n so it is 100 100 or 200 is similar you can go with order of n cube so if you want to go with order of n cube what i can do is so can i maintain i will maintain two loops i will maintain two loops <coughs> i and j j will i will go to 0 to n j will go to i plus 1 to n now k will go to 0 to n k k is going to 0 to n this is my i this is my k and at every iteration i will try to exclude either i and j if my k is equals to i or my k is equals to j i will say continue so in this way we are eliminating every permutation right we are eliminating every per permutation i think you understood it so we are taking i and j and we are trying to 
remove i and j from my new v1 new v1 this is my new v1 consider this so we are taking i and j and we are trying to remove one element so if you see here this example now if you see this example now what we will do here these are my elements so i will iterate to the nums one first i will remove these two and i will check for all then i will remove this and this then i will remove this and this so for every possible way i am removing it and after removing it i will store all the remaining elements into my new 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 vector i will store my remaining elements into a new vector and we have sorted this two right we will sort both these elements so my updated one will obviously be sorted so i will compare i will do same operations what we have done here v2 and v1 v1 and v2 we will do the same operations we will take large element and we will subtract it so we will get some value here we will value here. so this all values should be equal after removing it after removing it these all values should be equal so there will there can be a mismatch suppose if you are removing two elements and consider this as my 8 so you required plus 4 here plus 4 so this will be my invalid statement so try by yourself so this is the logic what exactly we need to do so i think you understood it what exactly we are doing so before watching the coding part try to you try by yourself if you are coding and if you are thinking then you will improve your problem solving skills a lot so i am hoping that you have tried the coding part now let's see the coding part it's simple first we are sorting v1 and then we are sorting v2 then we are iterating i is equals to 0 i less than n j is equals to i plus 1 j less than n for eliminating two elements for eliminating two elements we will go from k is equals to 0 k less than n if k is not equals to i and k is equal k is not equals to j we are pushing t dot pushback v1 of k if any of this or you can you can write this k should be not equals to this and k if at least one is matching you cannot concern now this is my difference in difference v2 of v minus 1 and minus t of m minus 1 so this is my array of v, v2 array so v, this is my difference and i will go from the left and i will calculate the every differences d is equals to v2 of k minus t of k so these both lengths are equal because we are we are eliminating only two elements after eliminating two elements my m and size of my t will be same so i will remove it if my difference is not equal that means if somewhere if you are removing two elements and all elements are not able to form the equivalent equivalent sequence then you can say this is not my valid one so f is equals to 1 break if f is equals to 0 i am calculating the minimum v2 m minus 1 comma minus t of v minus 1 finally we are returning the answer so here what will be my time complexity it will be n into n into n so i think you understood it now interviewer may, interviewer may say oh, okay ayush you have done the problem in order of n cube can you reduce it can you reduce it to n square or any better solutions so in the contest I, I couldn't able to think because uh, complexities were very low but after the contest I have seen one solution so if you go to the solutions tab there is a one solution available here uh, which one I will show you one minute oh sorry uh, yeah in this yeah this one what you have done you had sorted it and you have done few of the operations so his name is intelligent something now let's see what exactly he have done now what he had done is he had sorted both this v1 and v2 he has sorted v1 and v2 he has sorted it then for every for nums 2 of 0 that means this 10 will obviously be considered right obviously this 10 will be included my equivalent sequence only from v1 we are removing it so for every permutation for every permutation 4 minus 10 8 minus 10 12 minus 10 16 minus 10 20 minus 10 he is doing for every v1 he is performing this operation so first step he is doing 4 minus 10 sorry 10 minus 6 it will be 6 now i got 6 then it is my check 6 will go here and my i is equals to 0 i less than nums dot size and j less than nums 2 of dot size i plus plus now what he had done is he had done 4 plus 6 which is 10 which is equal right which is equal so he is incrementing j and 8 plus 6 14 incrementing 12 plus 6 18 he has incremented it so my count is not reached 2 so i am returning 1 so it is valid so first yes this is my valid this can be my minimum this can be my minimum now 
8 minus 10, 10 minus 8 which is 2 right. Now, if you see then we are going here 4 plus 2 which is 10, 4 plus 2 which is 6, but he is saying that it should be equals to 10, it is not equal. So, I am saying count plus plus, Okay, my count is 1, this is not my valid sequence. Now, my 8 plus 2, 10, 8 plus 2, 10, yes, this is my valid sequence. Now, 12 plus, 12 plus 2, 12 plus 2 which is 14, yes, this is my valid sequence, 16 plus 2 which is 18, this is my valid sequence, yes, 2 can be my answer, 2 can be my answer. If all are not valid, my C will cross 2, right, my C will cross 2, <coughs> then he will return 0. Now, 12 minus 10 minus 12 which is minus 2 and I will check 4 minus 2 it is not valid 8 uh, 8 minus 2 still it is not valid 12 minus 2 10 is yes, it is valid 16 minus 2 it is valid 2 20 minus 2 18 it is valid so it can be my minimum so you will go you will go till end you will check for every element so here my minus 2 is my minimum element you can check for fourth index fifth index you can do iterations and this is my minimum element so I will returning the minimum element. So, here the count is the most important thing for finding out the differences. So, here my time complexity will be n into n. So, this guy has optimized it. Thank you for him. So, I think you understood it two different approaches. Uh, I am hoping that you have learned something new from this video. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and I have created a WhatsApp community code with confidence. You can join there. We have good folks who will discuss the various approaches from the contest and I have given all those in the description, you can connect with me on LinkedIn as well. If you have any doubts in this question, please do ask, please do not forget to ask, please do ask, do not hesitate, whether it is a good feedback or a bad feedback, everything is welcomed and I will see you in the next video, till then, bye bye.